name is Dr. Enrico Tanko. I'm actually practicing here at the Asian Hospital Medical Center at the Asian Cancer Institute. Uh, IMRT actually is a form of radiation wherein the field is actually divided into subfields or smaller beta fields. In tomotherapy technology, it's called actually beamlets. The intensity of each of these beamlets can be actually modified and, and modulated so that the amount of radiation being given, uh, whether the tumor is on the thicker side or the thinner side, can be easily modulated by the machine. The advantage of IMRT is it can give maximum dose to the tumor or to the target area and minimizing the damage to the normal cells. Uh, tomotherapy actually, if you can imagine, is like a uh, CT scan wherein it is actually a helical form of treatment, meaning the beam goes around the patient 360 degrees and depending on the area being exposed, uh, what part of the tumor or what part of the body, radiation is given at the precisely at those precise position and time. As I mentioned earlier, it's a helical type of treatment. So what happens is the patient lies down on the couch and the couch actually moves like in a CT scan so that the patient's uh, uh, different portions of the body are exposed during that movement. And at precisely uh, at particular positions, radiation is given to that particular part of the body. The process for tomotherapy treatment is actually quite similar to the standard type of radiotherapy, where you get a CT scan, and those CT scan images actually are used for planning. Um, work Flow-wise and time-wise, it's actually quite similar. The only difference is that uh, patients in tomotherapy are always treated in the supine position or lying down flat on the back. Tomotherapy is best, okay, firstly, for treating complex cases, head and neck, uh, lung cases, prostate cases, spine, brain. Uh, that is where tomotherapy can excel. Uh, there are certain types of treatment wherein uh, tomotherapy is actually uh, excellent. Uh, one would be treating, let's say, the spine, spine lesions. We are able to treat the bony part of the spine and spare the spinal cord from radiation. The other advantage is we can treat very, very large fields. Uh, we have a uh, travel of about 1.6 meters, that's 160 uh, centimeters of travel or length. So that means you can treat you virtually from head to about the area of the pelvis. Tomotherapy treatment and uh, other forms of radiation are quite similar. The big advantage of tomotherapy actually is better dose distribution. It's a more homogeneous dose that can be given to the target and we can actually spare a bit more normal tissue to prevent side effects. I actually have a group. We've been uh, treating patients with TOMO for about a year and a half already. So I have experience with uh, most of the machines and systems available. The tomotherapy tends to make it much faster. The planning definitely is much faster with the, using the Volo. Okay, so it's one of the machines that actually I tend to favor. Actually, we can treat any type of cancer with the tomotherapy. Uh, we use it a lot for head and neck, for breast cancer. We also use it for lung cancer. Uh, for brain, we can use it for stereotactic, uh, for SRS, SRT. We also use it for stereotactic body radiotherapy, which is SBRT.
The tomotherapy machine is actually quite versatile. Uh, it is able to treat all forms of cancers in the patients and I can recommend it for treating all forms of cancer. Uh, what I normally tell patients who undergo uh, well, tomotherapy treatment is uh, number one, the treatment is painless. You know, they won't feel anything. Okay? Uh, they just have to lie down still during the actual treatment. Uh, so we normally position them in a very comfortable position. So the treatment itself is quite short, it's ranging from three minutes to about six minutes. Uh, very unusual if we have to treat the patient more than six minutes. So it's quite fast. We ask the patient just to keep steady or still during the actual treatment itself.